Hey everybody, so as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. We are here for the Twin Flame reading, all right? So all the Divine Feminines, all the Divine Masculines, you are welcome into this space, all right? This is a space only right now for Divine Feminines and Divine Masculines, okay? Take the sex and gender, all of that out of it, okay? Put yourself on whichever side you go on in your connection, in your situation, all right? Thank you, thank you. I hope that this video, this reading, this message finds you all doing well, all right? And in the event that you are not doing the best, I pray that this video gives you the answers, the clarity, the guidance, whatever it is, love, the comfort that you need in this moment, all right? Welcome, welcome to anybody who is new. Welcome back to anybody who is returning. It is always lovely to see you guys. All right, let us see y'all. All right, spirit is guiding me to pull one for the masculine and one for the feminine. All right, and then go from there, okay? Build on the reading accordingly. So let us see. Thank you, spirit. What are the messages here? For the twins. Thank you, Spirit. Let's pull on an energy for Divine Feminine. All right. Let's pull on Divine Feminine's energy first. Oh, uh, playfulness. Okay. So, Divine Feminine, it says to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Okay. So, don't be afraid to have fun. Don't be afraid to, you know, let your hair down, basically, is what I'm hearing. Let me clean. Sorry, y'all. Hope. Holds on. All right. All right. So, that looks a little bit better to me. How about you? All right. So, yeah. Playfulness. Okay. Allow for yourself to be uh, playful. Have some fun. All right. Stop being so serious, Divine Feminine. Let's pull one for Divine Masculine. Oh, where is it? Okay. We have very soon. Oh, wow. Okay, so this masculine is coming to you very, very soon. All right. It says clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. I feel like this is a masculine who's been on the fence or toying with the idea going back and forth, you know, for a really long time now. And maybe that's what has this feminine, you know, in a position of having her guard up where she's not able to really have fun. And spirit is like, girl, Stop being so serious, you know, tap into that fun, playful, loving energy and have a good time with your masculine. OK, but the masculine, on the other hand, is being told to make a decision, you know, and stop riding the fence here, which is probably something they don't want to do. All right. Let's just call it what it is. If you guys were doing this, then it wouldn't be coming up right now. Spirit wouldn't be advising you to do that, right? So this is what I'm seeing here. Let us keep it pushing. Underline the energy for the both of you together. New love, okay? So this makes me feel like the twins are going to get some sort of new spark here, okay? Usually this card would talk about, you know, a brand new person coming in. But I overall feel like this is Spirit saying it's like a, a new flame, okay? To an old flame or something like that. New spark to an old flame. Hmm, interesting. Thank you, Spirit. All right, let's get some hidden truth messages here let us see i know feminines are anxious to know what all right is going on with the masculines three hidden truth cards for the masculines please spirit let us get three of them three hidden truth cards for divine masculine thank you oh well that was fast okay we will be together again. Okay, that's the first card out. The timing just wasn't right for us. Okay, so whatever time that was that you guys were dealing with each other, they feel like the timing just was not right. All right, you were too young. They didn't know what they needed to know at the time or whatever. Okay, so many things remind me of you. Um, Spirit is saying me something here about experience too. So maybe they just feel like they needed to experience some more things. They need to live life a little bit more, something like that. Okay, so once again, not every message is for everyone. So take what things resonate for you and leave what things do not. But that's what I'm getting. Overall, very soon you and this masculine, whoever this person is that we're talking about today, you guys are going to be together very soon. Okay, so that's what we're seeing here. Let us keep it moving. What's the underlying energy here, spirit? For this divine masculine's energy, I love you unconditionally. Oh, so even though you've been being kind of cold and kind of standoffish they still want you to know that they love you okay 
they probably been doing things here and there or they will be doing things here and there to show you let you know oh that they love you that's so sweet okay so let us see all it takes sometimes is you know a little bit of tlc to get that that flame rekindled right so let us see here a little bit of quality time maybe a little bit of playfulness silliness all right laughter is the best medicine okay so maybe laugh together let us see if you have some inside jokes you know mention those things laugh about those things all right let us see for the twins thank you spirit what are the messages love oh they really do love you love just keeps coming up okay they adore you they admire you they are enchanted by you oh beautiful you make them happy, okay? Whenever they see your name, your picture, your face, they light up, they smile, okay? It makes them really, really excited. <laughs> and always, I'm hearing, mm -hmm. let's see, for the twins, Divine Feminine. Oh, Divine Feminine, you really have been trying to cleanse your masculine out of your energy, huh? <laughs> You really have. You've been doing everything in your power to try to cleanse your masculine out of your energy here with this card, okay? Mm -mm, because you feel like, you know, for some of you, like I said, the timing, something was off about it. Could have been karmic situations, third parties, all of that, because we do see that the masculine had a decision to make, you know? So there could have been some third parties going on. And like I said, this year, moving forward, divine feminines who are ascending, yeah, no, they're not going to be doing that. They're not going to be uh, anyone's third party, okay? So we already know that. We're not going to beat a dead horse. Let's keep it moving. All right, Divine Feminine. This one fell first. So <laughs> just know your masculine is coming, all right? They're coming, sis, and they're coming ready. They're coming quick. They are chasing you, okay? Like, they are not serious. They are not playing. I was about to say they're not serious. They're not playing, all right? And that's the thing. Some of y'all probably think they're not serious, okay? Which is probably why I was about to say that. Like, they're not serious. They coming? Yeah, okay, they've been coming, whatever. What else is new? They've been coming. How many people been saying they've been coming, right? I know. We're divine feminists. You think I don't know what you're saying? You think I don't feel you? <laughs> I feel you, okay? But that's what spirit is saying. So divine feminine to divine feminine, I'm just saying, you have to believe what spirit is telling you, you know, not what you might see in front of you, but what spirit is telling you, right? And I'm feeling too, speaking of what you see in front of you, this person is coming to do something they've never done before. They're coming different because notice, like I said, this usually is talking about a brand new person, somebody completely different, not the person that we would have been talking about from your past, but that's the energy that spirit gave me. I lied to you not. Y'all seen this whole thing on camera. Did y'all see me lift this card up? No, I did not. This was my first time doing it, right? Look what's right underneath it. I cannot make this shit up. Separation in reverse. And look what's underneath that. <laughs> Love yourself first. So because you guys decided to, like I said, cleanse your energy, get yourself together, meditate, align your chakras, do whatever was necessary, love, for you in order to be your best self. You feel me? Not thinking about and focusing all of your energy on divine masculine, divine masculine, divine masculine, divine. That is, he is his own being. You don't have to do all of the heck. You know what I mean? What about you? Are you caring on you right? Are you loving on you right? Are you tending to you accordingly, right? So now that you've been doing those things, this is why it's coming in, right? And this is what I always tell people. That's the trick. That's, that's how you do it. You get what I'm saying? But when they come back, of course, it's up to you to decide if you want that person or not. But just know they're coming, all right? And like I said, they're coming different. The person is going to be coming on bended knee. Where's that card? Okay, let's be clear. They're coming on bended knee in this, in this uh, essence, okay? This is not like before, okay? So what else is this? We have settlement. See, agreement, compromise. They, they want to come to some sort of agreement. They want to get on the same page, okay? They don't want to do it the wrong way anymore. They don't want to have you as a third party. They don't want to be with the karmic. You see what I'm saying? I can't make this stuff up. They don't want to do that anymore, all right? For a lot of you, this person has probably been spying on you, okay? When I say spying, I just mean simply watching from fake profiles, okay? Like, because they feel like you're avoiding them with the racing car. They feel like you're avoiding them. They really don't like that. You know, they've been trying to get in contact with you for a nice little minute now. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? They're like, where are you? You know what I mean? Why, why are we not talking? But it's because spirit said no. It's not you. 
You get what I'm saying? Nah, it's not you. With this legal card here, reverse spirit is saying they have to choose very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Spirit already told them. If you decide what you want, it will come to you. If you don't know what you want, then hey, I don't know what to tell you. Divine Feminine is doing her. Divine Feminine is minding her business. You know what I mean? And so it's just that simple. So this is a masculine who realizes that if they don't do it, then someone else is going to do it. And that's not what they want. You know what I mean? So they're like, oh, shit. You know, like, let me get on my day. Like, that's the energy that I'm feeling here. Okay? Yeah, they're getting the signs. See what I'm saying? See what, see what I'm saying? They're getting the signs. Spirit already told them. All right? So give us more here for this. So now they're ready to come in and commit. See what I'm saying? And this is what's coming, all right, the next few days, weeks, or months. This is what's coming. The person is coming to you very soon, all right? They're ready to commit now, okay? Maybe, like I said, for some of you, if it was not a third-party situation as to where they were actually in a relationship or situationship with someone else, they could have just been dealing with others, entertaining multiple parties. Regardless to what, you were not about to intertwine that energy with your high vibrational divine feminine god is like energy you know you've done a lot of healing work cricket so yeah it was crickets on that you were not talking to the person you were not you know doing anything okay for those of you who spend time with them you were not doing that you get what i'm saying you weren't putting in no type of effort energy none of that because you're like i'm not seeing that from you that's why i said you just completely turned cold because it's like well <laughs> Where's the lack of, you know, I mean, where's the effort? That's what I'm saying. It was all lack, lack of effort, lack of, you know, consistency, lack, it, lack, lack. And you're not in the energy of lack. So you can't deal with that. Once again, energy is all energy. You can't entertain it, right? That's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm hearing. So it's all crickets, all right? Spirit is just telling y'all. And so this masculine is panicking, by the way. High anxiety right now because they don't, I mean, they know what's going on, but they don't know what you're about to do next. Okay, that's what I just heard. So we have, yeah, hamster wheel. All right, so as you're not talking to them, all right, they're trying to get out of this cycle that they find themselves on. They're trying to send you telepathic messages, all right, different forms of communication, maybe even through music, you guys, different shows that you're watching, movies or whatever, commercials could be coming on the TV, the radio, whatever. You get what I'm saying? Different dreams, visions, what have you. Okay, could also be daydreams as well. But like I said, all of this because you're not talking to them. They feel completely lost or, you know, like cut off from spirit when they're not talking to you. So here they are, like I said, trying to figure out how to get off this hamster wheel. So they're trying to send you messages like, hey, come help me get off this hamster wheel. You can't help them. It's not your karmic situation. Okay, so once again, it's not you that's blocking them. It's spirit that's blocking them, right? So that's the energy that I'm picking up, y'all. Let's see, we have love affair, once again, that you did not want to be that, okay? It just keeps coming out, and this is why you cut them off, period. So this is just where you stand, and you're not changing your mind on that? Like, that's just it, period. Because it's come out how many times now? You know what I mean? We are 13 minutes and 26 seconds in, okay? And this has come out how many times? Auntie? Okay. So, yeah, and this is your twin flame that we're talking about okay which we already knew but here's that triple confirmation doesn't hurt okay the one they're realizing you are the one you have their soul this is something that they pledge to okay and they're like okay i'm ready to commit i'm ready to i'm, I'm ready to do this okay so yeah they were in denial for a really long time whoever this person is could have been egotistical just hiding behind the shades hiding their feelings okay they can't hide them anymore because you've cut them off. So what were they trying to hide? Yeah, this, that they love you. That they love you what? Unconditionally. Look what's underneath the eye. Uh, I can't make it up. Look, I'm starting to understand our connection. Okay? Because you cut them off and they don't have that energy. Like I said, you made them happy. Look, I want to feel that way again. What I say? I said they hid how they feel from you. That's how this all started with me pulling the cards, right? I hid who I really am from you. I can't make it up. Okay, what I said, I said telepathic messages and shit like that. Look at this. You speak to me through music. <laughs> all right, so the story is literally all right here. Okay, it's all right here. It's all right here. They know they love you. 
okay and they know what they have to do they know they have to commit period so we got the seven of pentacles here they know they have to make wise investments with their energy their time their love they know the best possible investment as to where they can see the most return on said investment would be with you all right yeah so we see this two of cups once again love deep love okay real deep that's how this hurt <laughs> little nastiest all right oh okay so we have the knight of pentacles okay so they come bearing gifts this person is ready to take the risk okay come bearing gifts come towards you here express their passion towards you okay yeah their love oh they want to come and express their passion and their love all right show you some affection some toc i just keep hearing that okay because they don't want you to think that they were ever not interested in you due to the third parties or the karmics or whatever the case may be they were just tied up yeah see the hangman in reverse see i'm just like speaking it into existence as i'm pulling the card because i feel the energy these are really more so just for the image and more just for like entertainment for you guys but me as an intuitive reader this is a true gift you feel me so i'm just using it to go along with what i'm already going to say but yeah they were caught up they were tied up into certain habits karmic cert you know circles cycles different shit that like i said they was trying to get out of survival mode you know they was around people who were in that mode of survival this is what we have to do to survive this is how we have to live the fast life also i'm hearing for some of them you get what i'm saying um but let us see all right, so we have the moon card in reverse. So, yeah, this is the truth. They realized these things about themselves, and they had to heal, all right? They realized where they were holding themselves back with the chariot in reverse and not allowing themselves to really express to you how they feel openly and honestly, all right, with the eight of wands, okay? So now this is what they want to do. Um, so expect a conversation from this person to tell, uh, for them to tell you, excuse me, that you are their ten of cups. You are their happily ever after, okay? That's what they want to communicate with the eight of wands and the ten of cups okay you are the person that they want to build a life with okay yeah so they're really they are willing to risk it all here with this fool card come towards you okay and have this brand new beginning like i said have this um new spark to an old flame okay yeah we have the two of pentacles for a minute now they've been juggling they want to tell you they're not doing that anymore they realize what they were doing Okay, by playing riding a fence. Notice this is like a fence, ain't it? It was riding a fence with gate open here. Okay, let's see. That's so funny. All right. We have the eight of swords in reverse. Okay, so they can't get you off of their mind. They've been trying to. You get what I'm saying? So here they come with the tower card. All right. And like a wrecking ball. Y'all know what I say about that tower card. So funny. All right. All right, so we have the Page of Pentacles in reverse and the Knight of Wands in the upright. Yeah. This person is not taking it so well that you are not talking to them. So they are coming in hot and ready. That is crazy that I just heard that like that. But that's what I'm getting. They are not ready for you to move on. They are not ready to lose you. Not with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. They don't feel like that's how it's supposed to go. They want to come in and express this passion, their desire for you. Okay, like I said in yesterday's reading, they are yearning for you, all right, in the worst possible way, okay? Whew. Yeah, it's getting hot. All right, let us see. We have the four of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, they feel like you let them go. You're, you're letting them go. You don't want to invest your time, your energy into them now, okay? They sense that, they feel that, and they want to come and express this passion. They are like hoping and praying that it is not too late, all right, that's what I'm feeling. They're like hoping and praying is not too late here. All right, they're like, please don't leave me. Please don't leave me. All right, let us see. Thank you, spirit. Get me some tea. Only time will tell. That's what you're saying, feminine. You're like, mm-hmm, that's nice. Only time will tell. Let me see what type of action he put in. Let me see what type of time he on. <laughs> right? And it says, new beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. That word continues to be emphasized because twin flames are passionate about each other. And I know people are scared of that word because like passion. Oh, my God, it's so scary. You know, passion can be very intense. It is. It's also very, very amazing. 
very amazing. Okay, it's nothing like it. And so it's just like, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Look, I can't even get my cards together. Okay? I can't even get my cards together. That's how it feels. Okay? But yeah, you know, everybody deserves to feel that way. Everybody deserves to experience that. And I feel like if you can, you can have that in a lifetime, then why not? Why not? All right? But if people keep riding a the fence, then I guess Divine Feminine is just going to keep choosing her. Okay? So we have my beloved, the message from the Divine Masculine. Okay? Though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. All right. Let us see. In all honesty, too, a lot of you might start looking towards new love because you're tired of going through this uh, with your masculine is also what I'm hearing. A lot of you have started just opening yourselves up to the possibility of being with someone else, soulmate, you know. A kindred spirit. All right. Let us see what we have here. Ooh. So it says reflection. Okay. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. See what I'm saying? Just, you know, that's where feminine is right now. She's just like, and then we have friendship here. You know, focused on herself. Focused on where it is that she's going to be going next what's next for her on her journey you know she's not really giving the energy to masculine and it's more than likely because of masculine riding the fence so to all the masculines listening in who are riding the fence stop doing that all right so what i say what did i say passion a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present enjoy it it's just a passion that's there i mean maybe the thing is to to reflect on the passion give each other the space to you know, reflect on that. And then you have that power. If you don't want it, you know, you can say no, right? So it says you instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. You don't have to deal with your feminine or your masculine if that's not what you want. But if that's what you want, then you have to be honest with yourself and spirit and that person so that things can come into union, come into harmony, okay? That's the only way that it's gonna work. Let's pull one more here and then wrap it up. Okay. We have, when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong choice. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Okay. So I'm getting a masculine that doesn't want to make the wrong choice. But we have twin flames. So spirit is telling you what the choice is. Your passion ignites. That the word just keeps being emphasized. So I mean, it's up to you. You know, you can have the regular degla, stale meat, get old after few years or you can have that passion that flame that stays lit all the time that keeps you warm that you know is going to be there you know no matter how cold the world is your twin flame got you it's up to you i mean so that's the choice that we all have you know but if one makes it difficult on us what are we supposed to do sit there weep about it no so as divine feminine to divine feminine i feel like you're just doing what you have to do love and you know that's that's good right at least until your masculine gets it together then you guys can come into union right that's the goal that is the goal ultimately right so if this was your message or you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and if you have not already go ahead and subscribe peace and happy